Hey everybody, welcome back to Green Country Baits. Today we're going to be doing a painting session for you. This is going to be the bleeding shed for a customer here out of Oklahoma. We're going to be doing a couple of these uh, bull sheds. I'm not sure exactly what they are. I'll show you a few differences on, on what makes it a little easier to paint these jointed baits. So if that sounds cool, come check it out. Okay, hope the fan don't bother you in the background because it's damn sure helping me. Uh, it is hot today. All right, we've got our uh, swim bait here. Uh, we're going to be showing you. Again, I've just got some little alligator clips. These have got a little nail stuck in it. Uh, just to kind of stabilize the, uh, the joints in there, give it a little bit of rigidness and just something out there that if you got this, I've got some big bobby pin type things too. Sometimes I use there, but, but anyway, um, we've got our brushes loaded up with two or three colors and we're going to spray some paint here and we're going to be doing a shad color shad pattern the bleeding shad pattern and that'll work perfect i'm going to put a few colors underneath just undertones Then I'm going to cover that with a scale pattern or a scale uh, aluminum base, especially down at the bottom, and then just kind of mask that. Mute those colors just a little bit. Just kind of sticks them into the background. Let's go ahead and do this side. We're not trying to go real dark on those. We just want that to kind of show up underneath our scales. This is the, of course, Auto Air's been discontinued. I'm sure they still carry this in a uh, in the Wicked line, which is pretty much where they moved everything that was Auto Air. It's just an aluminum base. Does a real good job of coverage. Uh, I did thin it with 4011. Okay, so next up, we need to come in with some black. Okay, so we want to come back over the top of that blue and we're going to angle spray our black. And our scales there. Reposition these. Come on.
<clears throat> All right, we got a red. We got to make this a bleeding shad. So we're going to start right here behind the gills. Bigger drops, turn the air pressure down. I'm just going over the, the face of the gills with this aluminum base to give it that metallic look. A little bit over the front of it. And that, guys, and gals, high definition. Bleeding Shad. Let me know what you think. Pretty cool pattern. I uh, hope my guy in Oklahoma likes it. Make sure you stay around to the end, and uh, we'll show you some cool pictures of this uh, under the good camera with clear coat applied. It'll really bring out some of those details in that scaling. Again, once again, guys, I, I'm uh, blessed to have such a good audience, and I appreciate it. If you'd like to see anything else, please leave a comment below. And until next week.